Now the last thing to talk about when we want to change our list is to delete elements. So we talked about adding them, we talked about finding them, let's talk about deleting them. There are two ways to delete an element. So just like there's two ways to insert an element, we could insert or append. There are two ways to delete. We can delete by index or by value. Let's talk about index first. To delete an element by index, I'm going to use the pop method. It requires one argument, and that's the index of where do I want to delete it. So it doesn't matter what the value is, whatever's at that index, it's going to be gone. If you do have pop with no argument, the default is that it's going to be the last one. So it's kind of like append always goes to the end, pop always goes to the end, unless you give it a specific position, and then it will do it wherever. So here's some examples. My list.pop, so I'm using that notation. One will delete the second element. My list.pop, empty parentheses, will delete the last element. Let's add a function to our program to try out the pop. To delete an element from a list is to do it by value. So if I know what number I want to delete, but I don't know where it is, I'm going to use remove. Remove requires one argument, and that is the value itself. So it doesn't really care where it is. It's going to basically do the work for you. It's going to see if it's in there and then remove it. However, if the value is not in the list, an error will occur. So you should use the in operator like we've talked about before. I use the in operator for index. I should use the in operator for um, remove so I don't get a runtime error. So here's some examples. My list dot remove five. And this, if you already know that five is in your list, you could remove it, no matter where it is. I don't have to know the index. Now here's a better example because I'm using the in operator, if num in my list, then I'm going to remove it, else I might print a message. Or I might not even have an else, but make sure that it's in the list before I try to remove it, so that I don't, so I don't get a runtime error. So let's try this, the remove in our program. 